Hey everyone, uh, I'm late getting to it, but yesterday was a really good day for herping. It's just good weather, found a new species. Not new to like science, but new for Tony. Um, yeah, it was just all around good day. Uh, I didn't get bit by anything. Uh, didn't accidentally wander onto any private property and have anybody threaten me with a gun. I'm not gonna say whether that has or have happened to me before, but yeah, it was just pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> mainly just snakes and turtles, but when you're herping in Maryland, other than frogs and toads, there's really not much else going on. Uh, well, you could run into skinks. I had a buddy that posted some pictures of some skinks that he found out at Elk Neck State Park. I thought that was pretty cool. It'd be cool to see some broad-headed skinks, but it'd be cool to see anything. I mean, I've never flipped a log and there been, like, a live creature under there and me being like, nah, big deal. You know, I'm always excited. Except for centipedes. I'm kind of getting tired of them. I don't know what it is about them. I feel like I just see them all the time. Them and slugs. Yeah. <clears throat> and worms. Okay, so it turns out there's some stuff that I just really don't want to see when I uh, flip a rock or a log or a board or a piece of tin or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so um, I know a couple people liked the last video, so... I hope you guys like this one too and like i said if the weather holds up this week hopefully i can put another one together but uh yeah keep watching i appreciate the support and uh yeah be good to your reptiles and amphibians because they need us and we need them all right you guys have a good one hope you enjoy so i haven't found anything too significant yet other than a couple uh really young green frogs so I just been kind of walking along this creek near my house and just kind of turning over these small rocks and everything just to see what we can find and uh, oh there's a little frog that just swam away Let's see if we can see where he went well he probably swam under the, one of these rocks. But that kind of gives me a minute right here just to do a little PSA for all of you creek hikers out there. But uh, And this is something that I kind of just learned recently too. These rocks in the creek are a big part of the habitat. And as you saw, I just flipped that rock right there, thinking there was going to be nothing under there, and there was a little frog under there. So when you see people moving these rocks, you know, or you'll see a lot of guys on social media, you know, stacking them, and it's an artistic way, and I got to admit, it looks really cool when I see that. But it's actually not good to do that, because these rocks are being used as habitat for a lot of smaller creatures. So... You know, I flipped multiple rocks in this creek today, and <clears throat> the only thing I found under there were just a couple water beetles and stuff like that. But those water beetles need those rocks for cover so that they can breed and then become food for all the frogs and salamanders that we've been finding. But, and then as you see that, that frog's using that as cover so that they have a place to hide so that stuff like owls and snakes aren't just coming and eating them constantly <clears throat> but yeah so just a reminder that even though it looks cool to stack those things you know it's really not too good for the habitat you know so you know just try to enjoy nature it's cool to come out here and flip the stuff but you know, you don't have to make art out of everything. You can just kind of enjoy it. But, yeah, that's all I got for this one. So literally just about to leave this place. This is like the curse of just being me. I'm like walking back down this trail, about to go find somewhere else. And right when I'm crossing this creek right here, I see this little guy. This is just a little baby common water snake. So he's not big enough to eat me yet. But these guys are pretty cool. Oh, look at him. He's mean. 
So we're not going to mess with him too much. We're just going to put him down. Hey, you be nice. See, these guys are awesome. <coughs> Okay, you burrow down into the mud. I don't want anything to eat you. It's okay. Yep. Hey, look at that. You're a mean boy. And you just went under that rock. <clears throat> These guys are common along creeks and stuff like this. I've seen a lot of really tiny frogs and minnows swimming around in here. That's kind of their favorite food. They are not constrictors. Um, they uh, basically just grab on to a fish or a frog and just proceed to swallow them. But you can see they're pretty aggressive. Like, you know, you pick up other small snakes out here and uh, they don't really mind it at all. And that was just a little baby and he was flashing his mouth at me trying to get me to think he was something scarier than he was. But, nah, he's just a little thing. But yeah, that was a pretty cool find. Like I said, I get frustrated because all I see are water snakes out here. Um, but that was pretty neat. One thing is, um, they get confused as copperheads a lot of times because they have that orangish marking on them with the blotches down their back. But they're pretty easy to distinguish from a copperhead, if you ask me. You know, copperheads usually aren't submerged in water like that. So, but yeah, that was a pretty cool find for this area. All right, I'm super excited. Just flip this monster rock right here and have my first ever double flip. Too cool. I'm a little bit out of breath from flipping that monster. And I just forged through all those stickers. Yeah, awesome. These are two very tiny northern ring neck snakes, just like I caught the other day. You can get a better look at them. They're probably like, let me go, don't eat us. I love these guys. They are so beautiful. They've got such a, oh, he got away. He's gonna go under that rock right there. All right, you're my unlucky specimen. These guys aren't aggressive if you flip something and you wanna pick them up. They're big defenses. They kind of flip their bellies up like that and show that beautiful yellowish orange color. <clears throat> you see, he's just trying to get away. Um, these guys are pretty opportunistic. They are a fossorial species, meaning they mainly stay under the ground. Most of the time they'll burrow under these rocks and boards. And uh, from there, pretty much what they'll do is they'll stay under there. They'll eat big insects like crickets, worms, beetles, whatever they can find. Maybe even salamanders every now and then. But... Yeah, the sun's kind of glaring, so you can't really get too good of a look at him. There we go. And obviously they got that name because of that beautiful yellow ring around their neck. Alright, well, I'm leaving this spot because i got to run home really quick, but what a cool find. Like I said, first double flip. Say bye. He, these guys are a lot more friendly than that stupid water snake back there. Okay, if you're not going to say bye and you just want to be rude. I feel like he just pooped in my hand, so maybe that's his way of saying bye. <laughs> okay, so that first spot, surprisingly towards the end, was pretty good. It's not even 11 o'clock and I already got three snakes. Uh, I'm going to head over to Delaware and hit a few spots over there. And uh, see if we can turn up something other than ringnecks, water snakes, or I even hate to say this, but I like to see something other than a black rat snake. They're my favorite, but they're very common. 
So we'll see. Maybe we'll see some turtles, maybe some cool frogs. Who knows? All right. Never in my coming to this park has there not been a water snake under this board. I really hope this doesn't make me look like a fool. There he is. There he is. And he's a big chicken. He's, he's the smaller one. A lot of times there's a bigger one that's under here. There's a shed from a really little one. A lot of times they'll drop down into that grate. Yeah, he's gone. Now this board right here on this drainage grate produced for me once. I remember there was a ring neck under there a few weeks ago, but let's see. Uh, nothing. I'm starting to think that this uh, part of Curtis Mill Park right here is good luck. This is not the same area as last time, but I'm, you know, poking around through here, lifting up logs. And then I lift this up over here, and I see this little guy hanging down under this log. It's a little eastern box turtle. I don't think this is the same one as yesterday, because we're still kind of a far... It's maybe about 50 meters up there, so doubt he's traveling that big of a distance. And this one's got a different colored head. But yeah, he was just resting under here. And uh, there's a really immature part of me that wants to like take him out and handle him, or her, I'm not sure. Can't really tell unless I look at the bottom, but we'll keep it gender neutral for the time being. But I'm going to contain myself and just leave her down there because she looks comfortable. She's resting or hiding from predators. And you guys already know how much I love eastern box turtles, so this made my day. So no uh, reptiles or amphibians or anything here. This is just a type of plant that's really common here at Curtis Mill Park and it attacks me on the regular. Um, it even got Bree the other day and she had a pretty negative experience with it. It's called spiny nettle. Now it looks normal. It looks just like a regular type of weed. When you get up real close, ignore that ladybug, you can see those little spines on there. And when you brush up against them, they go right into your skin and then automatically you start to rub them to get just out of reaction and it just rubs it deeper into your skin. And it feels like a bunch of little stings. And uh, I'm that guy that wears shorts everywhere he goes. And uh, no matter how hard I try to avoid them when I'm walking through here, they still get me. So, yeah, just be careful when you come out here and you see these guys. Like I said, it's not life-threatening, but it can cause you some irritation. All right, so after about to give up on flipping some of these rocks right here and trying to avoid all this spiny nettle, flip this little one right here and found the most adorable little baby. Almost positive this is a decays brown snake just a baby you see how small he is he's probably not even six inches found him under here you see he's just he couldn't have hatched too long ago you are just so cute oh my but yeah these guys I don't know if they're in the fossorial family or not. Um, most of the time they uh, 
I think they spend it underground, but they do get bigger than this. Like I said, this is just a baby. He'll develop a little bit more of a pattern. And then, uh, yeah, they're not constrictors either. They're obviously not venomous. They're going to be eating smaller stuff like big insects, salamanders, skinks, lizards, whatever he can find. Maybe if he gets a little bit bigger, they might attack some small rodents, maybe some frogs. But, oh my god. I thought he was a worm at first. He was so tiny. So, I'm going to do is put this rock back and then let him crawl back under there. Awesome find. Say bye. Two box turtles in one day. I can't believe this. I'm just trudging along. Let's try to get a better look. Hopefully I don't bust my ass getting down here. This is like a dried up canal. So. I sank in the last one because the mud was so thick. That might be the best look we get of him. A lot of dried up fish in here and everything. These guys are on the move. Too cool. So, that turtle that I just filmed, I realized that he or she, I haven't really looked yet, doesn't really matter. I was getting really distressed because that canal, they dried it out and it's a really thick muck down there and um, finally just decided to she was obviously trying to cross so I used my net to reach in because I couldn't even walk out there the muck was too thick and uh, pulled no it's a boy pulled him out of there and, uh, he's heading in this direction so that's the way he's gonna go probably put him right in these shrubs right here I think this eventually leads into somebody's yard but most people are okay with having box turtles but you can kind of see in there he's just doing his his shell routine but I'm gonna place him right here so we can catch his breath not have to worry about anything there we go quick reminder you know I know I said this on the video from the other day but whether you're rescuing one from the road or wherever don't move them really out of the range where you found them just kind of put them in a safe direction in the direction they were going or else they'll turn around and go back uh, the direction they were going into where they got them in danger but yeah this one we probably moved him about a total of 15 feet that's in the direction he's going so like I said he can stand there catch his breath and then go on doing his turtle thing awesome kind of interesting I just got to Glasgow Park and I just caught this uh, little eastern painted turtle a little bit I don't know if you can see but she's got a injury on her face I don't know what happened, something bitter or what, but right on her mouth, she's got a little bit of a indent right there. Not sure what happened to her, but yeah, it's a girl. But I'm not going to hold on to her too long, she's frustrated, so let's watch her go back into the water. So for this last one, I wasn't able to get a video, or at least not a good one. This is a picture of a very large red, northern red-bellied river cooter turtle. Kept trying to get him to come closer to the edge, so maybe I could catch him real quick and, you know, take a few pictures with my camera. But the park was really crowded, and it's kind of like a large fountain pool there so I would have looked nuts if I would have walked out there but um 
yeah, I was able to get this picture. They're pretty cool. They're our largest semi-aquatic turtle. But that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment if you like it or share it. And, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully I can do another one. But, um, yeah, thank you.